Pepudge here. <laughs> Hello. Here comes the game. Hello, game. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Why is it flashing? Relax. Jesus. Okay. This is probably a controller game, I'm guessing. Yeah, feels a lot better on a controller at least. My dad for testing bug reporting and asset modeling. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. Special thanks to my wife for her constant support. My dad for testing, bug reporting, and asset modeling. Imagine having a supportive family. And not only that, but your dad. Oh my God, I am so jealous. Asset modeling. Ugh, I love that. I love that so much. I'm so glad I read that. Ugh. Pixel density. Alright. Time for video game. Indeed, it's time. Get your game or fingers out. Okay. Haven Park, a tiny exploration game. Do you remember? You were just a child, spending long summer afternoons playing near the old tower, imagining your own adventures. I barely remember, Grandma. I don't really feel ready. I mean, this is too much for me. Flint, I was about your age when I started to take care of the park. I felt overwhelmed It took me years to understand something. I didn't take care of this place. This place took care of me. I, I'll try my best. Look around you. Listen. A beautiful day is about to start. So, how should I get started? Do you remember where the campsites are? Not really. It's okay. You can start by finding Sunshine Cove. Sunshine Cove. It's the closest camp from here. Go west and you'll find it. What else can I do? I haven't been able to do much lately. Many things are probably broken. You can try to fix them. Okay. I'm sure you'll find your way. Now go. Why is he running like that? It's so cute. Look at him run. Oh my god. Pew. Pew. 
Wait a second. What is he doing? <laughs> what is what is he doing? Why is that so loud? You'll be fine, Flint. Enjoy your journey. I way was west. <laughs> um, west is opposite of east. Duh. Parents can be cool. Both my parents came in the other day and each took a picture of the PC I built recently with a funny amount of pride. That's cute. Damn. Imagine your parents being together. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> what is that? Somebody tell me what that's like. Please. My parents have been separated since I was born. Five. My parents aren't together. That's why they came in separately. Oh, okay. You said both my parents came in the other day. So I thought you meant like at the same time. Do they have a good relationship though? Even if they aren't together? Like parents that are separate but have a good relationship. It's like also what's that like my parents do not have a good relationship <laughs> look at me swimming oh my god look at my little ex feet i look like chicken little don't i look like chicken little <gasps> look at it the water is so gorgeous Oh my god, I want to swim in this water. Are you kidding me? It's such a pretty blue. And it's... Oh, I can I swim in this water? Can I real life swim in this? The noise it makes. I want to drink it. I kind of want to drink it too after you said that. It definitely looks... It's definitely giving Gatorade vibes. Like, you don't see water this color in real life unless it's, like, in a pool. But then if it's in a pool, then you know you, you can't really drink it. You're not supposed to because it, it might get a little sicky. Blue, blue Gatorade. Or, like, what's that stuff that's, like, Fanta? No, it's not Fanta. It's, like, a soda that it's... Is it Fuego? Is it Fuego? It's like a like a cream soda or something, and it comes in a bunch of different flavors. I feel like like Gatorade isn't really accurate. It's a little bit too dark of a blue to be Gatorade. There's like dark blue Gatorade, and then there's like light blue. And also Gatorade, Gatorade tastes good, but like, it tastes good for Gatorade. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it doesn't actually, I feel like it doesn't actually taste that good, but because you know that you're drink, like, because you're, you know that you're drinking Gatorade, you're like, oh, it tastes good, even though it doesn't really taste that good. It's just like flavored water. Isn't Gatorade just like flavored water? Like super flavored, like it's not water because it's Gatorade. But isn't Gatorade flavored water? Like super flavored water. Because you're supposed to drink Gatorade when you're like sweaty. Right? Because it has like, what's it called? Does it have the, um, what is that shit called? The electrolytes? Gatorade's, Gatorade has electrolytes in it. And like vitamin boosts and shit. You're supposed to drink them when you're sweaty, right? That's why, like, a lot of people, like, who are in sports drink Gatorade. Like, when I was younger, we would drink Gatorade. 
but I would drink Propel because I always thought that the Gatorade that they brought was nasty because it was. They'd always bring like the worst flavors and I'm like I just fucking practiced for four hours and you're bringing me lime green limeade Gatorade like why am I being punished? Um, anyway, yeah. Willow's Beach and Sunshine Cove. Okay. I feel like there's not really, there's not really a lot of sound going on. What's so weird is, like, in the menu, right, it sounds so loud. Like, if we go in the menu. Is that not the loudest noise you've ever heard? Then you get in the game and it's just, like, barely anything. Thank you, invisible voice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I've seen a blue lake, but it was caused by blue-green algae. That sounds cool. Lemon-lime Gatorade is good for cleaning bathtubs? All right. Horseman, you have a lot of interestingly weird and random knowledge and I like that I appreciate that if you're the friend that just randomly brings up like weird facts like that I fuck with you and I respect you the light blue one I don't think the light blue one is bad I don't think the light blue one is bad I'm gonna be honest I think the worst Gatorades are like orange Orange is so bad. Orange, lime, a anything lime. Anything lime, anything. Unless it's actually lime. Like, lime as an artificial flavor is so fucking disgusting. Same with lemon. It's like, you have to... It has to be the real thing, or you're gonna be able to taste that it's not. You know what I mean? Um, but I think... The orange, the lime, the lemon, whatever the fuck. All that shit is nasty. It tastes like the ice that builds up in the freezer. <gasps> no, no. I hate that when I read that, I, I got that taste in my mouth. Ew. That's such a disgusting taste. But I don't think I taste that when I drink blue, light blue Gatorade. I don't think I taste that. I cringed writing it. <laughs> That's a great description, though, because I knew what you were talking about immediately. Nice and metallic. Ugh. Ew. That's the, like... I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. I'm not a scientist. But, um... Pew. Pew. Climb up the mountain, you got it. You can do it. Um, there are so many Gatorade flavors. The one, actually, actually, wait, because I will get, um, I don't really drink Gatorade anymore. Well, no, that's not true. I don't drink Gatorade, like, get, like, the normal Gatorade anymore, but what I'll do if my grocery store has it, is I'll get Gatorade mix for water. And it tastes almost as, almost the same as the actual thing, right? So I'll get what I normally get is, the, I think it's the only ones that, the only non-gross flavor that my grocery store has for the Gatorade uh, mixes is um glacier cherry do you guys like that flavor oh my god oh my god when i tell you glacier cherry fucks bro glacier cherry fucks bro glacier cherry is the white one it's like you think oh it's cherry so no it's glacier cherry boo listen okay listen it's glacier cherry so it's white it's like a white color it is so good Listen, 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 listen. It is so, it fucks. It, honest about it fucks. It does. So, I get the Glacier Cherry mix for water. Just because it's cheaper to get the mixes for the water than to buy, like, the bottles. And 
and I'm all about what's least expensive because <laughs> I ain't got money. Think this game should have some kind of music? Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's just ambient noise. What's weird is I think in the beginning it played music, but we just listening to birds and shit right now. One second, I'm trying to find. All right, you gonna judge me. You gonna judge me, pokers. I think this is the one that you were talking shit about. So, do you remember what the blue, the light blue Gatorade is called? Do you remember what that's called? Do you... Do you remember? It's always sold out where I live because I stockpile. Gotcha. If I could buy a pallet of Glacier Cherry Mix, I would. Honestly. Glacier. Yeah, it's called Glacier Freeze. I have it right here. I get the blue and the white, the glacier cherry and the glacier freeze as packets, mixed packets. You just put it in a bottle of water, normally like a 16 ounce, 16.9 fluid ounce bottle of water. And then you just shake it and then you drink it and it tastes, it doesn't taste exactly like a real thing, but it tastes close enough for me to pretend that it's the real thing i never tried the cherry one though you never tried glacier cherry well if you don't like glacier freeze which is the light blue one glacier cherry is not much different i don't think <clears throat> pew pew I love how we, we just had this huge conversation about Gatorade because of the color of the water in this game. That is absolutely brilliant. I love that for us. Somebody just fixed the bug I was looking at. Good day. Like, good day as in goodbye, or good day as in today was a good day. Or both. These are important conversations, yeah. I love how him just like splashing against the water. I love the noise it makes. It's so satisfying. I'm collecting stuff. Quests. Oh, maintain the park. Grandma cannot take care of the park anymore. I need to repair broken signs and fences. Things I have. Ooh, there's a there's a weight limit. I was not expecting that. They produce energy and can power buildings. What? These mushrooms are a specialty from the region. They produce energy and can power buildings. Or create fireworks. Okay. I guess. <laughs> what are they putting in the water here? Sheesh. <laughs> This red is strong, right? 300 pounds? My, my, my. I got a skill point. I don't even know what that means. Salesmanship. Trade resources at any... Okay. Is this a short game? I thought this was... A short game. It's not a problem if it's not. But this just seems... This seems like a lot. Trade resources at any marketplace. Unlock new buildings. Find coins, find metal, find wood, mushrooms, fabric. Map displays more elements. Get a stronger torch to see at night. See further while exploring. Move faster, jump higher. Get resources when tearing down buildings. Sell food at higher prices. Carry more re- Holy, what am I playing right now, bro? <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not hating it. I actually, I love this so far. I found a camp. I should add it on my map. It was in better shape in my memories. Let's see if I can build some things like a few tents or a place to eat. Campers will be much happier. Nice. Pew. Post post apocalyptia. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm swimming. World with radioactive mushrooms and synthetic water. Right? Right? So true. Now we have the music. I just had to discover a camp, I guess, to unlock the ability to 
Listen to it. Rest campfire. Must have for any good camp. Also, I keep your campers warm and happy. A place for two campers to rest their legs a bit. Beach umbrella. Give your campers a nice spot to rest by the beach or anywhere you want. What is a camp without a tent? It will provide one bed for a camper to sleep. Wait, what on earth is this game? Literally, can you imagine me building a pool when we're literally right next to the fucking water? <laughs> oh my god. That would be fucking hilarious. That would be the most capitalist thing. Synthetic water, though. Syn the word synthetic is so interesting. Don't eat the mushrooms, they contain uranium. My lord. So I'm supposed to what? It says, find the camp of Sunshine Cove. <clears throat> And I'm supposed to improve it. <clears throat> oh my god, and I place it where I won? I don't know if I'm ready for this right now. What the fuck? Welcome to the park. Thanks, I really like it here. Tomorrow I would like to see the cannon leading to yellow fields. Oh yes, it's a nice place. How can I get there? You can simply walk north and you'll find it. I'm having a good time. It'd be a real shame if someone were to shove you into the water. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. I wish there was a bench or something to rest. Relax, you just got here, bro. You just got here. <gasps> Please. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm picking the place of the tent. I'm on fire! Oh my god. No, I'm not. <laughs> No, you don't have to, you stupid idiot. I just put the tent down. Oh my god. This fucking idiot. I hate this man. That torch scared the shit out of me. I thought I was on fucking fire, bro. <gasps> Jeez. Okay. We're gonna put this... Like, right... Oh my god, it, it placed it backwards. Oh, I am not smart. Wait, okay. Let's do this. We'll do the bench. No. Don't put it there. Stop it. Get the bench and flip it around. I don't think I can flip it. I'm getting stressed out already. I'm getting stressed out! Okay. I'm getting stressed out. All right. Rotate. And then and then we're going to get like a little beach umbrella, right? And then we'll put it right here and we'll do it. Oh no, I don't like that. Wait. Oh, God. I wish it was a bit easier to play stuff. Can we do can We do like Right there. And then put that. 
Nice. All right. Now you need you need it you need food, Pew. This is <laughs> this is kind of stressful. Um, <laughs> this is not what I signed up for at the moment. I must say. All right, he's gonna starve. I need to find stuff for him to eat, or for stuff and things. Wait, what? What did I just say? Okay, it's fine. Ignore me. Why my little pitter patter of my feet is hilarious. <clears throat> I can sleep in empty. Oh, so you mean that ten I just placed because that guy went to sleep on the ground? Like a maniac? Oh my god. I can't sleep at grandma's house? That's kinda messed up. Don't you think? Uranium, uranium, uranium. Filthy sea monster soup? In what world would that soup be sea monster ish? That's just incorrect. And I will not. I will not put up with this sea monster slander. What did sea monsters ever do that was so wrong? Hmm? Nothing. That's what. They never did anything. People are just mean. And if you disagree with my opinion, argue with the wall. More of a shame if he got shoved into the fire. <laughs> I love the chaotic energy chaotic evil energy i am getting into the sea creature and got mad when it broke their ship right like exactly exactly what i'm saying dude how are you gonna jam your giant fucking ship into a living creature and then be upset when it's like ayo what the fuck dead ass thank you horseman Finally, somebody who has a little bit of empathy. <clears throat> uranium, uranium. I'm gonna make a depot. <laughs> uranium. I don't remember what the fucking <laughs> shit is. What it's. What the hell, it, what it's called, or the lyrics, or any of it. I don't remember any of it, it's fine. Uranium, uranium. Oh my god, I thought this was a person. I was about to shit my pants. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was like a creature. Now that shit is stuck in my head, so thank you for that. <laughs> what I don't understand is why do I repair this fence and not put other fence in this missing area? Like, someone's gonna be like, oh, okay, fence here, and then fly off and die. Like, why is the fence... Literally, why is there a fence here if there's not also a fence here and here? Like, what? Does that make sense? Can anyone explain that, please? Alright. I'm just running around. I'm not even- there's literally no fucking organization. No constructiveness to anything that's happening right now. I am just running around. With no care in the world. Absolutely no structure to this chaos. Can I run faster? I don't think I can. Oops. <clears throat> I 
Come here. Nice. The pitter patter of his feet. I love it. So cute. Gives them a false sense of security and make them more like to fall. I fuck with that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. <clears throat> I wish I could run a little bit faster. Was I supposed to sleep? I don't think I have to sleep, right? That would be silly. I can fly. Does it look like I can fly? <laughs> Bitch, do I look like I can fly? I look like Chicken Little. If he had a carrot for a nose. <laughs> and I'm not dissing him, but still. Chicken Little can't fly. Isn't that the whole point of the movie? Something like that, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Ah... How is there a new camper here already? Can you relax, please? I just, like, I ju my guy, I just got here. Like, please relax. What the fuck is this scary ass noise I'm hearing? Why can't I? <gasps> Who is that? I wish this could. Can I just move this back, please? There we go. Uranium, uran. Oh my god! Are you going to camp here too? No, I just take care of this place. Well, I must say, you were doing a great job. I don't know about that. I'm quite new to this, still figuring things out. I'm sure it's going to be all right. <laughs> I would die for you. You silly little whatever you are. Is this? Why did that sound like a very familiar song? Oh my god, is she gonna dance? Oh no, she's leaving. She she said, let's go! <laughs> and she galloped away. Same girl. <laughs> she is. She's Tiago. Okay, nice. Girl, go ahead and rest. Shit. The fuck? I'm not good at exterior designing or anything of the sort. I'm not good at any of that. Wow, so I recycled it and I didn't even get my full fucking resources back. I hate that. 
I hate that. This is stressful. I thought this was going to be a fun, relaxing game. But I'm stressed out. I'm honest to God, I am stressed out because I'm not going to have what it takes to keep these campers happy. I really am not going to have what it takes. Um, yeah. I'm very stressed about this already. So. There's no places to eat. I'm having a good time. Bitch, I will kill you. I need one metal. <clears throat> I don't run fast at all. This is so... I know this is supposed to be a relaxing game, but I am actually so stressed right now. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And you know what? Maybe it's my own fault because I didn't think I was getting into a game like this. I thought it was gonna be more chill. But I'm stressed. What the fuck? Ow. I'm stressed out and Granny is just sitting there, the bitch. Lord, uh, with base building, it depends on the game. Like some like grounded, grounded fucks, base building and grounding, grounded fucks. Cause you can get creative with it. You can kinda, you can build a bunch of different shit. You can really, really get creative with it. But this game, and plus, like, grounded, it's like, it has to be functional, and it's for you. You don't have the, you don't have to worry about if your, your camp or whatever satisfies the needs of the random animals that immediately decide to live there right upon placing a campfire down. You feel me? I miss grounded, dude. I, man, I put, I put like a hundred hours into that game when it first came out. That was insane. That was insane. I missed that game. My fuck around and get Xbox Game Pass for a month just to play it again. Might do that. Might just, might just have to do that. Wait, but Xbox Game Pass, isn't that shit- Somebody told me that shit was $15 a month now, and I'm like, Whoa. I'm glad I got out of there when they started charging me 10 Sheesh. They were all like, yeah, it's a dollar a month, a dollar a month, boom. Now all of a sudden, they're- they're 10 and then they're 15 like, Microsoft, please. Relax. You're only, like, the most richest motherfuckers in on this rock. One of my bases in Grounded is on the lake and I remember I was almost done when I realized the floor was a bit uneven. I wish I could have let that shit go. Took down half the base and started over. Oh my god, you're insane. You're a mad lad. You are a mad lad for that. I think I'd probably just let it go. Because I hate having to like redo something just because of something like so minuscule like that like it wouldn't bother me for it to be uneven or maybe it would but it would be fine because i could just ignore it but like getting rid of all of the work does granny have a hat on now did she have a hat on she must have i don't think she did but she does now I remember it because I kept falling into the water while building. Oh, gotcha. I know Grounded has probably received a ton of updates. I know that they have, they had just recently, well, within the last couple months, I guess, was it, it must have been in August. It was at the end of August. They updated with the the pond update where they added a bunch of shit 
under the pond. They added, like, the koi and stuff like that. Apparently, someone was telling me... Was it... I don't know if it was... I think it was someone in here. But someone was telling me recently that they added a new biome. And it's a sand pit? Or a sandbox or something? That sounds fucking heat, dude. Grounded is a game that, like, even when it was first... When it first released and it was buggy... And it didn't have as much content as it has now. It didn't have much content at all. That shit was still so much fucking fun, dude. So much fun. You got Haven Park for free just now? Awesome. How'd you get it for free? Reward points. Reward points? On what? Switch. Nice. That's fucking nice. That's dope. Well, I hope that you enjoy it. Don't watch too much of me play it because I don't want you to spoil it for yourself. On the go is great. No, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Wait, is this? It says... Whoever's living here is living their best fucking life. TP. Yes. You're doing a nice job. <laughs> You're such a liar, but I appreciate it. To get some cool Instagram pictures, what is the shortest way? You can either walk along the cliffs or on the southern side of Turtle Rock, or you can take the table cable car which is on the northern side thank you there's a precious gem hidden somewhere in the tower what is that true let me go in there the gem of black tower who put this book here Will you make the right decisions and discover the precious gem of the Black Tower? Become a hero for only one coin. Uh-huh. You trying to scam me, aren't you, partner? Well, you know what? Oh, I fell. I think I'm going to turn Depths of Field off. Because it's kind of just really ugly and annoying. Does anyone else feel that way? Yeah. Let's just turn that off. I like being able to see my surroundings. You are an adventurer trying to find the gem of the Black Tower. Upon traveling for days, you finally find yourself at the tower. Before you enter, you drink a potion of strength. You make a torch and light it. Then you open the old wooden door and enter the tower. The place is pitch black, but you still discern two stairs in front of you. You take the stairs. Bitch, you can't find a nice thing to do? Fucking go sniff flowers. The fuck? I gave you a teepee. You stupid little potato with a hat. I gave you a teepee, the most comfortable of bed support. I gave you a campfire. And I gave you a barbecue. And you can't find something nice to do? Bitch. You take the stairs going up, you take the stairs going down. Let's go. Let's go up. You reach the top of the stairs. The view there is really pleasant. You take a break. You, you start questioning your life choices. What's the point, you think? Am I gonna jump off? You decide to abandon this meaningless quest. You lost? What?
After a long descent, you reach an unsettling crypt. You get a strong feeling that the place is covered with traps. You grab a stone and you throw it in there. No traps are triggered, but the noise wakes up a troll. He sees you immediately and takes a smash at you with his hammer. I guess. You see a huge troll sleeping on the floor. He is holding a massive hammer in one hand and a teddy bear in the other. You turn away and leave the room silently, but you accidentally trip on a rock. Wow. Okay. I love this fucking stupid choose your own adventure game that sucks my toes. I showed up every few months and there's always new shit. Yeah. It's great the fucking um, upgrades that they do to that, or updates that they do to that game. This bird that I keep hearing is really pissing me off. Like, please shut the fuck up. You are annoying. Please. You stupid fucking bird. I'm going to hurt you if you don't shut up. You stupid bird. That Like, you're gonna tell me that bird's not fucking annoying? Then you're just a liar. You're not a truther. And I will call you out for it. You are not a truther. Okay. A simple but fun swing. <clears throat> oh my god, can that bird shut up, dude? I'm literally dying inside. <laughs> I got chills. They're multiplying. That's what that shit reminds me of. I can't talk right now. I'd like to get some food. Well then what the fuck do you think this is, bitch? My god. My god. Can I get something to eat? I don't know. Do you know how to use a barbecue? Snowman with a hat? Okay, um, it says I need, I need to add another tent and I need to add more fun. Okay, so there's supposed to be, is there supposed, wait, do I have two campers? Oh, I do. It was built by the King Robin II. I didn't know that. It was abandoned a few years after its construction. Well, they realized that building a tower here was kind of useless. That happens. <laughs> okay, great. Love that. Pew. Vision of connecting my bases with zip lines, so I'll definitely be in again. Wait, do zip lines exist in that game? You're saying you had a vision. Like, a, that's so Raven vision? I'm a bit confused <laughs> about the context of that. But I love it all the same. There's zip lines in that game? Wow, that's dope. Yeah, I really need to play it. I haven't played it since... I think I played... I tried to play it with some people after the water update but i we didn't play for i don't really remember anything so i don't think we played for that long but that sounds dope <laughs> fast travel to any of these? No. Okay. 
Okay. So I can't fast travel and I can't run faster. Interesting. I can carry. <gasps> Sorry. I went from 300 to 1,000. Oh, and I love that I have a little camp roll and backpack on my... Oh, that's beautiful. I love that detail. You guys know that I love being able to see changes. Visible changes on my character. Especially when you make upgrades. That's awesome. I fucking love that. Also, I went from 300 to 1,000 with the first and only upgrade. Can you imagine if other games had the courage to do some shit like that? On oh, God, though. Oops. All right. <clears throat> Why is it? Not a huge fan of the building in this. All right. Hmm. Oh, this is space back here. Oh, you can make this a beautiful spot. Oh my goodness. Too bad I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the tent over here. Fuck. I'm gonna put the tent right here. Boom. I'm also gonna move this closer. I saw you place a build on a build a base on that big rock when you stream. So I have one there and built a big ass bridge across most of the lake to my other base. You have put so many hours, you know, cardiac, not to like completely call you out, but I'm going to do it. I think it's interesting that you're such a builder and you know, you've spent so much time in that game, but like we have never played it together. What is that about? Like, what is that about? Like, what did you mean by that? That was a great spot to build a base. Um, and then for some reason, like the, the bugs in that area were buggy as fuck. Like they were glitched and they were just like, I don't know. It was really nice because it was up off the ground. So nothing was going to hit you because at this time... There weren't any flying creatures besides the gnats and you know there was you weren't gonna get hit by anything but i just remember like i would have to run for my fucking life when i left my base because there were just giant like wolf spot there were like two giant wolf spiders that would just camp right near it and like one of those poisonous beetles and i was like dude i love this spot it's great, you can see like the whole yard from here and I love it, but I don't know if I like running for my life when I leave my house. I don't know if I really fancy that all that much. But um, what's cool is yeah, you can build a, a base anywhere in that game for the most part. I remember the, remember the base that I, obviously my biggest one and the last one that I made I think was on the logs was on the cut tree logs that they have like they form like this line in the backyard and I had used one as a 
like a base and then built to the other and built to the other and then remember i don't know if you guys remember but i had this huge staircase stairway to heaven all right and i was trying to see what the uh building limit was because i wanted to see how far up you could make your base and we discovered that there was no building limit <laughs> Because I had been building it in survival and building it in survival and it was a lot of work and then I remember we popped into creative, I think. I don't know if I streamed this. I don't know. I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. But we went into creative mode and I just built into the sky and I was like in the sky box and I was still building and I was so impressed because it was like nice to come across a game where you could just build as high as you wanted to. I mean, there would be no point to build that high, you know? But other than like having a castle, which I'm sure people have done amazing things in Grounded that I could never even attempt or even dream of doing or visualize. I don't know, I'm a huge fan of just, I'm very practical. I really like practical places, um, nothing too big. I don't like getting in my house and then having to run around to different rooms to put my loot in, you know what I mean? In a game like that, I just prefer to get home, put everything in relatively one spot, and then go back out there because I'm not a huge fan of like big houses with big rooms and big open empty space. It's like, it kind of cuts down on the fun or the exploration aspect because you're like, oh great, now I gotta run through all these different rooms to get to assort all these things that I collected on my adventure into their proper chests and all that stuff. That's why but when Biddle and I played Valheim, I was like, can we please just put the chests, can we stack them on top of each other in the same room? So that we can just go in, drop our shit off, and then get back out there. Build a trap perimeter around that entire rock. Jesus. I like how you conveniently, conveniently didn't answer my question. Very convenient. I love that. Okay. I have, okay, so metal. So coins, wood, metal, fabric, and mushroom. We want to build, obviously this has a tent. I want to build a barbecue or whatever, I guess, for it. I guess I could do ice cream. You know what? I'm not going to do ice cream. I'm going to do barbecue. Because that makes more sense. And we love a logical honey. We do. What am I hearing? Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm scared. Um. Okay. Let me move this also closer, I guess. <clears throat> that should work. <clears throat> I'd love to build, like... <clears throat> if I can afford to... A swing over here. I think that would be so cute. If I built it like right, like, like here. Yeah, let's do it like this. I think that's so cute. Sorry, you guys can hear Butchie. He is snoring his life away. I'd give it four stars out of ten. Paintball. You should definitely have a paintball activity. People can chill somewhere else, right? He said I'd give it four stars out of ten. This place should also have a roller coaster. That would go from there to all over there. That would be worth one or two more stars. I think this would be a tiny bit over our budget. Lamau. We need to kick this guy out. He doesn't deserve the swing, that's for sure. 
<clears throat> Bruh. Why did he... Why did man's... Why... Why did he just pass out on the ground? Is this not part of the camp? This is part of the camp. So why didn't he just... Why did he... He just passed out. He just passed out on the fucking ground over here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move this over. Oh, what the fuck. Alright, I'm gonna move this. This was in such a nice spot, I think, but whatever. I hate that. I hate that as a spot for the camp. I hate it so much. There are no words. Okay. Move this over here. Pick this up. And move that over here. <clears throat> move, move it. Oh my god, I hate this. I don't know which side is the front. I think it's... Ugh. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Damn it. It's like, I want to put it here, but that's like outside of the fucking thing. Like, I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you would do this. <clears throat> okay, you know what? We're just going to do this. And, that. and that's going to have to be good enough. And then I'm going to get this, and I'm going to move it here... And I'm going to turn it the right way. Is that the right way or the wrong way? Because I can't tell. Alright, that will have to be good enough. Let me move it over. Okay, perfect. I'm done. There's so much space over here, but like he literally just knocked out right there. So I'm led to believe. Oh my god, somebody else knocked out over here. This is unbelievable. What are you guys doing? Un... Un unbelievable. Alright. Like, the first floor is for storage and crafting. The third floor is snacks and water and zipline so I can eat, drink, and then zipline out to explore. Gotcha. Gotcha. The ziplines sound really fucking cool. I wanna, like... I wanna know what that's about. I just recycle it. <laughs> Base. Can they not use the tents? No, they can. But he just like fell asleep on the ground like a fucking weirdo for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> yeah. No, they definitely can. And they will if you put them down. I guess he just didn't make it to the tent in time. He passed out boy, before, before he got to the tent. I don't know. That's the dude, that's the same dude who wanted a roller coaster, so I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> Why am I saying pew? Am I stinky? <clears throat> What's going on? <clears throat> oh, I like this more isometric view. I like this a lot. <clears throat> Do you guys remember Gadonia? That, like, open world... <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I'm dying. Fantasy RPG made by, like, a single person. I played it for a couple months, I think, this year. Was it this year? Or was it last year? I think it was last year. 2020, yeah, that was last year. I was thinking about returning to that. <clears throat> Probably next year, like in 
January or February or something, just because that game is so much fun. And the dev for that, <clears throat> he does, like, constant updates. I think that would be a lot of fun. That was a game that I enjoyed for a while. <clears throat> I didn't end up playing as much of it that I as I wanted to. I think I probably just got distracted by something else or something happened. But, yeah. That game sounds, or seems really cool. I mean, I played it for, like, 60 hours or some shit. I played it for hella long. <clears throat> hella, hella fucking long. It's got kind of a cartoonish, colorful vibe like this one does. Oh, I love this. I love this camp. This camp is the goat. <clears throat> You just didn't really respond when I asked. Did you? Did you ask more than once? Time to make a wish. I wish I had a fancy car. No, wait. What would I do with it? There's no roads here. I wish I had more coins so I could maintain the park. I wish... Wait. How many wishes do I have? One. Did this well just answer me? No. What? What? Is there someone in there? Hello? What just happened? Did it actually work? I hear you talk. I'm not crazy. Come on. I know you're there. Thanks for the wish. I'll make good use of these coins. Talk, Mr. Well. I won't leave until you say something. Talk. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Fine. Bye. Still silent. That's what I thought. I know you can talk. Try to make a wish at the well, but nothing happened. <clears throat> Need the metal. <clears throat> The music is so quiet, and I don't even know why, because it's literally turned all the way up. Like, the main menu music of a game is always, like, ten times the volume of literally anything else, and it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. And I go so far as to say that I hate that. Try out Gadonia again. Yeah, I that game has so much content in it. It's insane. And like, I just don't, I didn't even play nearly as much as I wanted to. Um, I think I just have to pace myself when it comes to games. Like, even if I'm playing a game that I really love, if I'm playing it for a week straight, I feel like I'm gonna start to maybe hate it. Or not hate it, but I'm going to start to dislike it. So I need to pace myself. A letter? It looks like it's been lost. Who is it for? Mr. Bird. And the address is The Refuge, Old Castle Road. Maybe it's an important letter. I should try to find this place. Yeah, I don't know. I need to. I definitely need to pace myself. Because there'll be times where I'm playing a game that I know that I love. And I adore it, but I've been playing it for so long every day that it's, like, killing me. Like, I feel like Deathloop is a good example. Because I played that for, like, two weeks straight or some shit. And I, like, by the time I, like, stopped streaming it, I kind of hated it. And I hate that I ruined something that I so clearly enjoyed because I played so much of it within a certain amount of time. I just have a really bad habit of doing that that I really, really need to work on. Especially in, like, 2021, 2022, <laughs> lol. Um, I need to work on it because I don't want to accidentally ruin amazing games for myself because I play just so much of them in such quick succession. 
just something I acknowledge being a problem that I do need to fix, that's all. Specialized in rabbits and sheep. Dr. Wolf. Interesting. Isn't that interesting? Last time I brought it up, just said something like, Are you busy or whatever? I wanted me to take the initiative and schedule for us to play. I can't, you didn't respond. Gotcha. I don't, I honestly don't remember that. My bad. Breaks are definitely a good idea, even for games you love. Maybe especially for games you love. Yeah. Yeah. I'm recently learning I need pacing too. Like, I just need to accept that some games designed to be long-term experiences. Too fucking long sometimes. Yeah. I think it's, it's so easy. Because, you know, this is, like, really all that I do besides modding. I mean this is all that I do so I think it's important to recognize the a game like okay Rainbow Billy right it's a game that literally prides itself on having more than 30 hours of content chances are you're not supposed to knock out that game in six consecutive days right like they didn't design it nobody designs a game for you to play sit down and play it for six days straight like there's just no way nobody makes a game with that in mind because most people most people who are buying the game don't play it like that because they are normal and they have normal jobs or they have you know normal responsibilities they have a family they have shit that that normally would take up those hours in those days right so maybe they'll play one or two hours one day or four another or whatever they're not making games like devs don't make games with the thought that yeah people are gonna sit down and play this for 10 hours at a time and then the next day they're gonna sit down and play it for nine or whatever like you know what i mean that's just like me and that's just like what like streamers do but like games aren't made for us and i'm not saying they should be but i'm just saying it took me a long time to come to terms with the fact that i play games a little differently i mean not that i play them differently but the way that i approach playing them is different from how they're intended to be played or not so much how they're intended but how they're normally thought to be played is like several hours over the span of several days or a week or whatever it may be at the end of the day nobody is making their game and being like yeah the only people who are going to play this are people that are sitting down and playing it for 10 hours at a time followed by six more days of them doing that same thing so what's the fucking what's the term joy in small quantities or some shit like that i don't know what the fuck the saying is but um yeah i've learned that even if it's something that i love and i might feel like wow i could play this for two weeks straight or whatever it's like i'm almost doing a disservice to myself and to the game because i don't realize i am setting up or i am putting myself in a place where it's going to be pretty easy for me to kind of hate it by the end um and it's not because i do it on purpose because i want to hate it because i like to hate things or whatever 
It's just because... What, what is it? Everything in moderation. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for. But even things you enjoy should come in moderation so that you don't end up fucking hating them. And it's, like I said, it's not something that you actively do. It's just something that ends up happening. Like, you play it so much and you think that you're enjoying it. And you are and you love it. But then at the end of the week, you're like, man, I don't even want to touch that game again. And it's like, if you love something, then you should never feel that way towards it. You know? So that's just one of the things I was thinking. I definitely need to pace myself. I'm not sure when taking a good time to break from a game that I love would be most beneficial. But I have to figure it fucking out. Because otherwise, I end up ruining these games for myself that I know that I love, that I know that I want to know life, but it's like, I feel like you can know life a game in any span of hours. Like, obviously, people think, oh, no lifing is playing it every day for a week straight, and that's a type of no life, absolutely, but I think, you know, there's people that have hundreds and hundreds or say thousands and thousands of hours in in a game which i guess could be considered no lifing it even if those hours are like months time or years time or whatever you know you you can you can definitely no life a game even if even if it takes you a year to to accumulate those hours if that makes sense but yeah, that was just one of the things I was thinking about. Or one of the things I've been thinking about recently. Because I felt that way about a lot of games. And, like, recently, because, you know, I had, what? I've been playing games. I've been, like, picking up games and playing them until their completion. Like, Black Skylands, I played for five days. For Evelyn, I played for two days. Rainbow Billy, I played for, what, six or seven days? In succession. Like, in, um... In the span of a couple days, or half a week, or a week, or whatever. So, it's even more so on my mind now that I've tried to, like, stop picking up and putting down games so often. Because I've always had a really bad habit of picking up games... And then, even if they were games that I really adored and really loved and didn't want to stop playing, I would still put them on hold because I would be like, oh, well, I can play this other game. And this other game gets my attention because I have the attention span of a fucking toothpick. So I put this game on hold that I know that I love, that I want to keep playing. I put it on hold for what? To play, to pick up and start this other game? It's like this really toxic thing that I do that I don't know why I do it. I'm sure if I thought about it for a while, I could take a deep dive into my own little noggin and I could discover the reason why I do it. But I've always done that and I've hated it. Because it's like we were talking about Godonia. Godonia is a great example. It's a game that I loved, I enjoyed, there was so much more content to it, and there's even more so since I stopped playing it, because it's been updated so much. Um, I kind of just need to learn to pace myself, so I, I stop ending, what the fuck, so I stop ending my enjoyment for games that I love to play, that I want to know life, or that I want to spend a ton of time on, and... I can, like, try to combat that with, oh, well, you could pick up another game. It's just, I, dude, I don't know what to do. Because it's like, I don't want to stop playing the game that I love, that I know I love, that I want to keep playing. But it's normal and it's human to feel burnt out after doing the same thing, right? Like, that's perfectly normal. But if I take a break and I pick up another game, I'm 
80% likely to not return to that game, even though I loved it, even though I enjoyed it, even though I knew I had to take a necessary break to continue to enjoy it at a later date. Picking up that second game, it's like I just get in these shifts and I'm in, say I'm in a Gadonia shift and then I get in a Rainbow Billy shift to take a break from Gadonia. Then it's like I've lost my grip on Gadonia and I can't jump back into it. And I just don't understand why. Why I have a hard time. It's like I get, like I really just get into this groove, like this mold, right? Like when you play a game, think of like a puzzle piece or think of like, you know, those things that children play with at the doctor's office, the fucking, the, the shapes, right? Like the wooden shapes that fit in certain holes or whatever. It's like... Gadonia gives me the circle mold, so I fit into the Gadonia fucking circle hole. But then I play Rainbow Billy. These are just examples. Um, and Rainbow Billy gives shapes me into the triangle mold, so I fit into the triangle Rainbow Billy hole. But then I go back to Gadonia, and I don't fit. And I can't fit. And it sucks. That's the way that I have to explain that because I don't know how else to explain it, but that's how I feel when I pick up other games while playing, while being like super engaged in one, trying to take a healthy break from it, play another, even if it's not like a long RPG, not an intensive game, this, that, and the third. It's like my attention shifts and then I lose that, like, grip, that groove that I had for that one game and adapt to a new groove for the new game, but then say that's finished or I need to take a healthy break from that, I can't get back to how I was when I played that other game. And it's just, like, frustrating because I don't know how to deal with a problem like that. Because my solution to the burnt out problem is taking a break and playing something else but that stems another problem so it's like what the fuck what do i do that's what i mean like what do i do having multiple projects games helps a lot i don't have the brain power to support multiple games at once Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I honest to God am. It's just, it's so much easier. Seems to be gone. I'll find another way. Probably jump. Probably jumping. Um, it's it's easier for your brain if you just have to focus at on one thing at once, or focus on on one passion at once or whatever you know what i mean like it's just easier for you mentally because you don't have to do like this gymnastics of switching between these different things and having having to remember what matters for this thing and what matters for that and it's just like it, it's so easy for my brain to get like com combobulated or whatever the fuck the expression is um because i have fucking attention deficit deficit problems so like i my brain is always like running at a faster fucking rate <laughs> than my the rest of my body so to speak so i always try to keep it so that it's it's stable you know so it's not so noisy it's not so loud but it's like my lord you try to find a re you fi try to find a solution to one problem and it stems another and it's like I can't think of a solution to the problem that stems from the solution to the other problem. I'm gonna head out. I'm super tired from work. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you so much, horse man. Get some rest. We appreciate you. Thanks for chilling. Now the music is back. It's like okay, are you done ranting? 
All right, we'll play the music now. <laughs> Sorry, game. I don't really have any other commentary to add to this other than <sighs> how do I create all these problems for myself when all I want to do is stream video games every day. That's it. Maybe make the occasional Fallout New Vegas mod. But it's fine. I'm just really bad at balancing. I've never known balance in my entire fucking life. I have never known balance. I've never had... <laughs> stability my life is a disaster <laughs> um it's not a disaster well it's not a disaster it's messy it's a messy bitch but it's not a disaster i have never known stability though that is actually factual um <laughs> that is factual so I can't have this balance between these different games that I bounce back and forth with at the same time. And I can't have- Okay? Okay? Wait, go ahead? What is this music? Yes, bitch. Yes, bitch. I was gonna say I can't have balance of something else, but I literally can't remember what it is. Off the top of my head. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Fuck. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I can't have- Okay, so... I can't balance things, right? I just can't. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I just can't do it. So, I can't balance... Like I said, balancing back and forth between different games. I can't balance streaming alongside another hobby i can't do it i can't do it i tried i tried to balance streaming and modding and it ended up with me just modding just modding and it's like modding is great but like it's not streaming <laughs> So yeah, obviously I'm gonna pick streaming. Um, but I can't balance both. Like I just can't. I've tried. I've tried. I just can't do it. I can't do it. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that I can't do both. So I have to pick. And obviously I'm not gonna pick modding even though i love to do it i'm not gonna pick it over streaming but it's just like sad that like i can't balance so like i can't just do multiple things i have to put all of my effort and my attention my energy into one specific thing because i can't do multiple and it's so sad because it's like i can multitask i can multitask but when it comes to dedicating parts of myself to different hobbies, I can't do it. I'm just like all in. Like, it has to be one or the other. And I don't know why that is. But it sucks. Playing hide and seek, yes. You wanna play? Aren't you in the middle of a game already? No, nobody wants to play with me. Why are you counting then? I'm practicing, so do you want to play with me? Sure. You count to ten. Good luck finding me. I'm the best at this game. There are many places to hide in this park. So look everywhere. Close your eyes. That poor bastard is going to go missing. He is going to go missing. He's never going to be seen again. That poor bastard is never gonna be seen again. Oh my, did I just commit a crime? Holy shite. Holy shite. Holy shite. Okay, so I need to get, what, like, a decoration. Some kind of decoration. <clears throat> nice fence, look at it. Here you go. Here, I'll put this fence over here so that you don't fall. But just one fence. That's it. Nice. 
That's that's it. So just one fucking mess. I'm literally gonna do the bare minimum for all these camps. I hope everyone is ready for that. Champion for 17 consecutive years. Never been found. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? The game didn't even give me an option to say no. That boy was doomed from the start. He was doomed from the start. I have the issue. Like, I don't finish thing A and switch to thing B. Fucking God help me if I come back to thing A. Yeah. It fucking sucks. It sucks so bad. It's like, literally. <laughs> it sucks. I'm sorry for the both of us, honestly. We've never done anything in our lives to deserve this. Just so you know. Which you know, but just a reminder. Abandoned mill. <clears throat> I'm literally gonna do the absolute bare minimum. <laughs> Oh my god, this is gonna be great. I really am. I'm gonna do the bare fucking minimum. Bare minimum. I'm gonna do bare minimum. <laughs> Hello. It's myth and legends. The older the other day a friend told me a story about a gem hidden in a tower. Can you imagine if it's real? Okay, bitch, shut up. Alright, anyway. Yeah, you just got here, you little hoe. My god. I need a place to sleep. Yeah, can I literally come over to the campfire and can you fucking wait a sec? Bonk. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Nobody gets ice cream. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. You saw her just pass out next to the fucking fire because she couldn't wait two seconds for me to make the fucking tent. Like, I swear to God. Bitch. I swear to God. Alright, perfect. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna move this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna move this to over here. There you go. And then, wait, is this in the way? Oh God, oh God. Okay, I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna move it to over here. Boom. Right there. Okay, I think I'm gonna move it a little bit closer. There we go. And then, I'm gonna move this. It's kind of annoying that you have to go to the barbecues to collect the coins like you would <gasps> you would think that they would um just like automatically collect for you question mark Anyway, thanks for listening to me talk about my problem stream. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll never change. Um, but I'm sorry. Once someone asked me to add a new feature, feature on some shit and I was like, Okay, but why are you asking me in particular? And they were like, you created it. Like, not even that long ago. And I'm like, my mind is in a completely different place now. I don't know how that shit works. Yeah, okay, Cardiac, you make me feel normal. And I appreciate that. Like, people with ADD, they hyper-focus on things. And it's like, when you're hyper-focusing on something, nobody, nobody better ask you anything that hasn't anything it doesn't have anything to do with what you're hyper focusing on because you're just you're not gonna know <laughs> you're not gonna know what the fuck they're talking about even if like you said you made it it could be it could have been your pride and joy 
at some point your greatest achievement and you'd be like yeah I don't know anything about that because you just that's just how your brain works and it makes you feel so bad it does not make you I don't know if it makes you feel bad but it certainly doesn't make you feel good um <laughs> that's for sure um it's certainly not a good feeling um and I think part of why my memory is so bad is because of my ADD because I just like can't fucking remember things like I have to write everything down I have to take notes on anything complicated I do for work or I'll never remember everything anything gotcha yeah but I don't even have to, like it doesn't even have to be complicated for me it could just be the simplest simplest fucking thing and I'll still need to write it down it's like just pathetic it's honest <gasps> Oh, gotcha! I can't believe you've done this. Um. Oh, move faster, okay. Damn, I am moving fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. I definitely should have gotten those wood. Those uh, material skills way, way sooner. Holy shit, I kind of feel like, should I restart off that? I should write some documentation on this shit for all, us all to understand later them you did sends link what's wrong with you i have a document all the things one note with about a million pages Ugh. such as life in the add zone dude what is that note saying dear cable car traveler we regret to inform you that the cable car is momentarily out of service a trunk fell in the pylon blocking the mechanism sorry for the inconvenience the cable car guy this is the only way to go to Turtle Rock. Maybe I can try to fix it. It shouldn't be that hard, right? All I need is to find a way to reach that first pylon. Let's have a look along the cliff. Maybe there's a path. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like maybe I should restart and get those. Do you guys think I should restart? How long have I been playing this? Like an hour? An hour and a half? Because I don't think resources respawn. Do you guys think I should restart? I don't know. I'm not gonna. But then can't remember that the notes exist or where they are. Oh my god. Heavy hands, dude. I get that. I'm sorry. Holy shite. Holy shite. Why are we the way that we are? <laughs> Why? Who, who decided to punish us like this? I mean, truly. Who is the evil bastard? Who did this? Who decided to do this to us? Truly. My lord. <clears throat> Me spamming the pickup button. 
this is fine. How the fuck do I even get up there? Holy shit. Holy shite. And it disappeared. Haven't had the time or brain cells to make it again. Woe is me. Oh no. I'm sorry. Feels bad, man, indeed. Jesus. I can only imagine because, like, if it's a, if it's a script you made, then I know that, you know, you use it. Because you obviously thought to make it. To automate it, so to speak. Damn. Sorry to fucking make the topic, the conversation so damn depressing. <laughs> Jesus. I can't believe I've done this. There's the music, and there it goes. It's gone. Came in like two seconds and then left in the other two. God, there's people who understand. Yeah, absolutely. I feel a little less like a freak show now. Or at least just a freak among the freak show. We are, we are several freaks in the freak show. We are we are not just one clown, but we are the the entire circus, you could say. Um you could definitely say. <clears throat> Everybody's getting a, ra a rainbow. Yeah, that's what I meant. Jesus. Um sheesh. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Excuse me. Perfect. Oh my god. Now I gotta add more? What the fudge? <clears throat> I love the color of your feathers. I'm here for the week away from the city for a bit. It's refreshing. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. We love a good low, absolutely bare minimum maintenance <laughs> and effort campsite. 
Every other word with butts. Okay, <laughs> Uh, okay, cardiac. Okay, cardiac. You funny for that. I laughed. I sure, I sure laughed. How am I hungry again? I just like ate something like three hours ago or some shit. Two hours ago, I don't know. Some days my body's like, yes, this food, this bagel, it will feed me for three days. And I'm like, okay. And then I'll like eat like a meal and it'll be like, sorry, that was just a snack, right? You're gonna eat some, you're gonna eat, you're gonna eat an actual meal now, right? And I'm like, I literally, what? What is wrong with you? My body is sasamogas, pretty much. Sasamogas. This is great. Oh, okay, wait. Wait a second. Wait, wait just a dang second. You can't be all, all cute and stuff and thankful that I'm giving you guys stuff. You better relax. You better relax. You better relax, my dude. <clears throat> like I said, it's bare minimum until I have been convinced that you guys are worth more effort. Sorry, I don't make the rules. <clears throat> this music is poppin', bro. What the fug? He's just placing a fence. <laughs> This'll do. <laughs> All right, I guess this could work. I put it the wrong way first off embarrassing second they actually swing on it I could cry right now wait they actually sw wait okay okay wait 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 everybody's gonna bum it for a while okay until I really get my damn why he waddling like that you good bro Everybody's gonna be bumming it for a little bit, right? Until I until I get my guap up and then and then I'm gonna recycle everything and come back and and you know really enjoy Decorating this place for all of y'all. Okay, but for right now a bitch is broke So we gonna bum it Oops yeah, I don't go up. Um. Go down. You hold your breath walking on the tip of your toes. As you come closer, you notice a small piece of paper in his pocket. You keep moving. Suddenly, the troll stops snoring. You start singing a lullaby. The troll turns around and starts snoring again. 
Relieved, you continue your way into the mysterious crypt. After a few minutes of walking, you reach a hallway. The place is very humid and gloomy. You hear all kinds of strange noises. Suddenly, you feel something pushing against your leg. It's a very thin wire. You jump on the side. A huge gate closes right in front of you. The way is blocked. The sounds you hear are getting louder and closer. There is a hole under the gate, but it's too small for you to pass. You try to dig bare hand, but you are too slow. The sounds are getting more familiar. Footsteps, a lot of them. You start to panic. You need a way to dig faster. Hurry. Okay, I need a tool. Wasn't there a construction site somewhere? They must have a shovel there. Let's go find it quickly. This is so exciting. Okay, interesting. Look it. <gasps> Wait, I turned it around. I turned that around. I turned this around. All right, whatever. But I didn't feel like going outside, so I was gonna use Instacart, but accidentally clicked Instagram. This life <laughs> shit is so hard. <laughs> Damn. Damn, yeah, I don't go on Instagram anymore. Well, that's not true, I do go on Instagram, but I don't, I don't like use it as a profile anymore. I just look at my explore page, which is just like filled with pictures of Matt Finkelson. <laughs> you are the legend of the family. <laughs> a treasure, give me 10 coins and I'll tell you more. 10 coins? whose gold was abundant, his sons vile and greedy were craving their legacy, tired to see them fight, he did what he thought was right, he traveled far away, brought his gold in a bay, then hid it in the sand in the palm of the hand. Okay, I know where that is. I feel like I've already been there. Because I remember seeing an island and thinking it looked like a hand or a chicken foot or something. Yeah, my explore page is just Mads, Timothy Chamelay. And women. And that's it. I don't have an Instagram. I was thinking of making one though. So I have someone to put all these video game screenshots. Oh, don't do that. Don't. Make a, make like a Flickr or something. Instagram for like, Instagram for video game screenshots, it wouldn't even be worth it, honestly, because the quality at which Instagram de like downgrades photos would just completely fuck your screenshots up. Like if you want to have a place to upload your screenshots, just make a Flickr. F-L-I-C-K-R. That uh, you can upload like 700 fucking plus photos for free, I think. They used to all be free, but they changed that a couple years ago. Now it's a little bit different. Um, but you could, you know, upload them on Steam. Steam lets you upload them in whatever resolution you want. <clears throat> Oh, look at her. So cute. Holy shit, I'm rich. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm rich. Wait, I need more food. Okay, now you guys get an ice cream stand. Now we need another tent and some decoration. <clears throat> Excuse me, pardon me, Lamel. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, child.
and then some decoration. There. Yeah, what does it mean? It probably means, you know, there. It could be some kind of code. Or a hint. I'm pretty sure it's just an adverb. We'll never know. Why there? Okay. <laughs> Look at this tomato man. <clears throat> tomato man. Yes, thank you, Butchie. <clears throat> and asked if I'd like to work on Instagram, and I said I didn't have it. Probably wasn't the most charming answer. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I've used Instagram, but it's... <sighs> Honestly, I've always just used it for me. I'm not like a social media person. I think social me social media is evil. I think it's evil. I think if you want to be a happy person, you can't have it. Or you can't have it public publicly. Social media is one of the many roots of all evil. Um are they trapped? Yeah, they might be, but um <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna try it. Would you like me to try it? I could perhaps be convinced. And let me see your best persuasion skills. Put them to the test. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aloha. Hello, Jiraiya. How are you? <clears throat> <clears throat> there's so many flowers around it kind of makes me sad that you can't like pick them and do something with them oh it does seem like resources respawn I'm glad I didn't restart maybe they don't respawn entirely but they definitely do respawn <clears throat> you guys hear Butchie fucking snoring his ass off <laughs> that boy got a snotty fucking stuffy nose. How are you? I'm okay. Doing better. Thank you for asking. Embedded fail. So it's a psyop. Just stop. Pokers. You're not funny, bro. Like, nobody laughed. Nobody moved. You know? Where's the fucking camp at? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Give a healthy supply of what's called an involuntary park guests. You don't need to worry about park attendants, and you no longer need to be concerned with their complaints. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, okay. Valid. Perfectly valid. So I really can't fast travel? You're really telling me I can't fast travel? That's insane to me. I can't fast travel. What the fuck is that about? <clears throat> I don't know. That just seems like... Why wouldn't you include that? <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope the music's back. It's like if I'm at a camp where people are happy, then I hear music. But if I'm out in the middle of the sea or somewhere else, I don't hear any music. What should I stream this Saturday night, dude? Dudes, dudes and dudettes. I think I'm gonna be, like, I know movie night I have Saturday night at 10 p.m. EST, but I think I'm gonna probably stream more movie nights in December, and they're gonna be horror games and, like, creepy, like, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna watch... I'm gonna stream more horror games. Maybe maybe I'll stream like a, I mean, not a horror game, sorry. I'm literally not smart. I'm gonna stream like horror movies like several times a week instead of just at Sunday, or I mean, Saturday. Hello? <laughs> Where am I? Um, yeah. Cause I think it'll be fun if I'm like playing a bunch of horror games and then I stream like one at night or something. I think that would be fun plus. There's a bunch of horror movies. Did I say horror games again? Horror movies on the stream. The fireworks are cool, but I don't know if this is the location for that. So we're just gonna go with radio. Let's put it right next to the beds. Perfect location. And then we do decoration. Oh, that torch does not light up really at all. Okay, based. Well, that's good enough. Bye. Bye. Let me actually... Okay, bye. <clears throat> I really... I'm, like, really surprised there isn't fast travel in this game. Like, I would really think that there would be...
And what are you guys going to do when I set up this green screen? My roommate actually just got back today, but I didn't want to bother him about it, really. But um, we're trying to figure ways that I can hang my green screen in the middle of my room from my ceiling. And he's really, really intuitive and creative with um, stuff like that, so... Um, I will be setting up my green screen, and then I will be having my cam on a lot more, especially because, like, you know, when I said for December, I was like, I want to do a ton of horror games, and I feel bad if I have horror games on, and I don't have my, if I'm playing horror games, and I don't have my cam on. Not really bad, but it's just, like, obviously, that's a, that's an experience that's more enjoyable for you guys, if you guys can see my reactions and seeing me shit my pants in real time so that will be interesting I know there's a bunch of people that haven't seen what I look like for whatever reason <clears throat> um, so I guess that will be interesting I suppose I suppose <clears throat> do you look different? no No, my hair is a little bit shorter because I cut the dead ends off of it. Oh, I cut the dead ends off of, uh, off of it. Yeah, I cut my dead ends off. That's it. So I lost a little bit of length in my hair, but it honestly looks better. Um, why is this expanding? This is absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe this would happen. How could this happen? <clears throat> Can you tell that I am doing the utmost most to not have, to not put any energy into this? I'm too, I'm too lazy to put energy into these camps right now. Please forgive. Please forgive. <clears throat> Why did you ask if I look different? That's kind of a weird question. Not a bad one, but just like a weird one, I guess. <clears throat> you put it here. Yeah, inside that giant rock. Epic. Alright, in decoration. Let's go with the flower pot, I guess. Here you go. Here's a fucking flower pot. Take that shit. Be happy. Goodbye. Um. What do you look like? Because you haven't had the cam on for a while. Yeah, just like people that are new to the stream or newer to the stream. Like I know um, some people saw me the other day when I was testing out the ring light. Um, but yeah. I haven't seen you myself, I guess. Yes, you- I feel like you've absolutely seen me. What are you talking about? Literally, what are you saying? Hey, Q. Like, recently. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, my bad. I don't know why it- like, wouldn't it make sense for the game to collect the coins automatically? Instead of having to go to all of these places that you've already been at, especially when there's no fast travel. Like, does that not just, like, make sense? Anywho. <clears throat> not really sure what I need to do at the moment. Chillin'. That's good, that's good. On fort with Rue. Fortnite. Fortnite. 
I wonder if they, they probably didn't, because why would they remove it when they could make more money off of it? But it makes me wonder, like, with all the shit that went down at Astro World, and how Travis had literally no fucking care in the world for <laughs> these kids, like, dying at his show, obviously people are not happy with him, so I would, like, wonder if his John with Fortnite... If they would, like, remove... Obviously, if people, like, got his skin or got his whatever, then, like, they can't take it away because they bought it. This game was supposed to come back, but they canceled it. Gotcha. I got it before they did it. Gotcha. Yeah, it's one thing if, like, people have it because they bought it when it was available or whatever. Yeah, they won't take it away because we already had it. Yeah, that wouldn't be fair for you guys to, like, pay for something and then they take it away. That would just not be fair. That would be fucking suicidal for them as a business as well. Um, but that's interesting to hear. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I'd say it's good to hear. But it's interesting to see that, you know, they didn't... They weren't, like, completely oblivious to what happened and complacent with it, I guess. But it's fucking Epic Games. Like, they're complacent with a ton of evil, nasty shit that happens behind closed doors. So it's, like... I don't... Like I said, I don't know if it's really, oh, a relief that they would cancel it. Oh, they're, like, you know... Not turning a blind eye to it. It's, like, they're literally Epic Games. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um that's interesting yeah <clears throat> A12 I literally have his game is interesting there's just no music it's just like gone like where is the music <laughs> Thank you, Cardiac, for shouting him out. <clears throat> there it is. There. Okay, there it is. What the fuck? I am so lost. I don't even know where I am. What the fuck? <clears throat> Where am I, dude? Jesus, let me go over here. <clears throat> that poor bastard who's hiding and seeking right now. I fucking love him, Miss Beat Saber. I kinda want VR, but I don't know if I have the space for it, honestly. Besides it being a boatload of money. <clears throat> I don't really think I have the space for VR, sadly. Bro, Butchie is just snoring. Like, good for him. Good for him. But damn. But damn. <clears throat> I don't have my VR shit up. Shit up now? <laughs> Why did I read it like that? Last thing I remember, I tried some horror game, shit my soul, my body, and straight to hell. A horror game, interesting. Yeah, VR horror is like a whole nother deal for sure. It was beautiful, I went to Turtle Rock, but the cable car was broken, so I had to climb the cliffs. I visited the old castle, camp near the swamps, finally reached the chapel of Pilgrim's Peak. 
Keep some great memories of this adventure. You climb the crit cliffs. You crazy bastard. <clears throat> 12 Discord, please. Can we watch the show? Oh. 12, watch the show. What are you doing? So you better watch the damn show. Four or five centuries ago, we don't know exactly. It was run by a family. It was destroyed by a flood, then re rebuilt and renovated multiple times. My grandpa proposed to my grandma here. Beautiful. <clears throat> right. Oops. I guess you guys could get an ice cream stand now. I suppose. Excuse me, can you fucking move please? Thanks so much. Get the fuck out of the way. <clears throat> Get your fucking ass out of the goddamn way. Please. What the fuck? to do I'm so bored oh like the fuck twiddle your thumbs or something I don't know you're literally in nature like there's f a barbecue right here bitch go over there bruh I will literally kill you can you place can you place can you place my lord, I'm a little peckish. They're both standing next to food fucking things. Epic, very epic. I can't place my building here, does it look like a building? It's a radio. <clears throat> Bitch, what the fuck? There you go, perfect. Oh my god, they want me to build more. Sister, sister. <laughs> That's funny. Why do they want me to build more? This is just interesting, isn't it? Oh, I can build down here, too. Okay, I see. I'm not gonna. But, I see. Maybe I should move the tents to down here. Let's do that. <clears throat> God, moving things in this game is not fun. That ought to do. I just put the radio in the water. It's fine. It's literally fine. Right, rest. <clears throat> Bench. Boom, boom, boom. Activity. Fireworks, fuck it, why not? 
put them somewhere. Where can they go? Where can they go? Where can they go? Somewhere. This is very interesting. Just go right there. Perfect. Alright, and then decoration. A flower pot. We're gonna put it... Can I put anything over here? Oh! 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 Nice. Now they're full. Don't ask me for anything. I'm writing a novel. Alright, well that's it. I'm exhausted. Okay, well then take a fucking little nap. Take a little nap. Love. Alright, that's it. Gotta get out of here before they ask more shit of me. Netflix. And one day when I can remember I have an account, I will watch it again. You don't remember you have an account? Dude, I literally have Netflix because of you. You, like, family share your Netflix to me. Yeah, you family share your Nexus, or your Nexus, your Netflix to me. You do that. So shout out to you. I literally have Netflix because of you. I think your mom also has an account. <laughs> like, cause it'll ask me like, oh, who's watching? And I'll pick my account, but it says like you, and then it says mom, and it has like this little avatar of like, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like a like, like a creature who's like feminine and I think they have like a yellow they have like yellow skin and then like a purple like mask on their eyes but just their eyes so they're like like a co they're in like a costume or something <laughs> I don't know but I always get a kick out of it when I see it just cause I'm like what is that I wish I knew I wish I knew. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I've played Skyrim. How could you tell? I pretty much never use it unless someone suggests something or asks to watch it together. So then why do you pay for it every month? If you never use it. Does your mom use it a lot? It's just like a lot of money a month, isn't it? Like 15 a month or something like that. <clears throat> you don't, you literally don't have to answer this question. It is absolutely none of my business. Um, I just realized I was like, yeah, why do you spend your money on that? <laughs> my bad. I did not mean for that to come off that way. I don't know, I watch Squid Game. Squid Game is really good. I normally don't watch, like, anything that gets really popular in, like, um, like, mainstream media, so to speak. Like, just because normally it's not really that good. But Squid Game is different because, like, K-drama is just different. It's just, it just hits, it just be hitting different. Squid Game, I feel like, was one of the only fucking, like, things, like, I guess fandoms or medias or however you want to describe, like, popular media in general. I guess just media. 
but I feel like Squid Game was one of the first that was actually, that blew up and deserved to blow up and just spiral into what it has. It's such a good fucking show. I think they should keep it a limited series, and I know that it was intended to be a limited series, and I'm hoping that they, that the creator gets, you know, final say in what direction it, it goes, but, um, it's really fucking good. I watched it to hate, but it's pretty good. It's so, yeah, it's good. It's, that shit is good. But the dub, yeah, don't, we don't talk about the dub. The dub was something else. The dub was... <laughs> that shit was... Oof, what the hell was that? <laughs> that shit was suspicious. Yo, if you watch Dub Squid Game, you're probably on a list. You probably put yourself on a list, and you probably deserve to be on that list. Because that shit was... That's the kind of shit that you watch to hate. Absolutely. Abs absolutely. Yeah, the dub was... Oof. Um. But yeah, if you guys haven't watched Squid Game yet, um, and you don't mind being emotionally manipulated, then I would really recommend that show. It's limited. So what you see is what you get, but in a way, that's kind of a good thing. Because what you see is what you get, and what you get is fantastic, is brilliant, and doesn't miss. So it's nice to just get to watch something in its entirety and know that that's it, you know what I mean? And not that's it because it was canceled, but that's it because that's all, well, that they had planned. I'm not saying that's it as in they aren't going to have another season or whatever, but it was planned to, for that to be the end. So you actually get a conclusion at the end of it instead of a lot of shows where it's like, oh, what's going to happen? And it's like, motherfucker. I know I did not binge this shit. Or it's worse when people don't binge and they'll watch as like a series comes out. Like a friend of mine is watching Dexter New Blood, which is, you know, the return of Dexter. Um, I guess it takes place like 10 years and 15 years in the future or whatever. But it's like, you know, there's a new episode every week or whatever. And I'm like, how can you do this to yourself? How can you torture yourself with this shit? Like, I could never, like the cliffhanger bullshit where you don't figure out what happens until next week. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to find out what happens the next minute motherfucker the next 20 minutes i used to think a lot more i guess or i used to use it a lot more i guess the only time i really think about it is when i actually watch something so it kind of justifies itself in the moment gotcha so they can discuss it oh Where is the lie, though? Where is the lie, though? You are right. However, what was cool, I think, uh, well, because I don't, Dexter New Blood, I don't, I don't think that's on Netflix, but, like, Netflix has that show, You, right? And so season three of You dropped in October, and it dropped all at the same time. Like, all ten episodes of it dropped at the same time. And I'm like, you know your audience, and I respect that. You know people are gonna binge this for, like, two days straight. Or three days straight, or whatever. Like, at least Netflix knows their audience. Whereas, I think, is Dexter, New Blood, that's on, like, I was gonna say CW. That can't be right. That cannot be right. Dexter's on some actual TV, like, shit. Like, which, like, on cable or some shit like that. Which is insane to me, because it's like, who the fuck uses cable? 
literally, besides, like, really old people, and they're not gonna watch Dexter New Blood. Like, what? <laughs> the old people are not gonna watch Dexter New Blood. They're gonna be watching All My Children in General Hospital and <laughs> Friends. <laughs> I don't even know if those soap operas are still around, but my mom used to watch that shit when I was young. Anyway, I took an accidental deep, deep dive. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got a little distracted. <clears throat> it sure happens a lot, doesn't it? Weird. Maybe there's like a <clears throat> word for this. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, anyway... I was- why did I even bring him up? Oh yeah, cause I was talking about Dexter and how it's on an actual TV, like, cable thing and how old people just watch soap operas like All My Children and then I was like, oh yeah, fucking Mark Consuelos, but I couldn't think of his name so then I had to fucking Google Riverdale because I couldn't- and then when I when I did that, when I did look that up, it said that he was leaving. They there was like an article from October and I don't pay attention to fucking news. Like I'm I'm always so late to shit because I just don't pay attention to like news or fucking Twitter or anything like that. I can't get this guy. <gasps> um so yeah, I saw this like article that was written like 2 months ago where it says that he's leaving Riverdale. That's so sad dude oh my god the dads are all gone dude fuck that coin my god <gasps> we used to come here when you were young i think i remember how did granny get up there the park is starting to look good again you were doing a great job there are still so many things to do take one step at a time and everything is going to be all right what are you going to do now, Grandma? I'm going to take a walk to the chapel of Pilgrim's Peak. The view there is beautiful. It's quite far, isn't it? Don't worry. When I get there, I'll take a long and well-deserved nap. Is she gonna die? Is she gonna die on that fucking rock at Pilgrim's Peak or whatever? She said she's gonna take a long nap. Take care, Flint? Uh-uh, Granny is... Granny gonna turn to dust when she gets up to Pilgrim's Peak. What the fuck? Why was that so weird? That was worded so weird. Hmm. Suspicious. Oh, I got a rope. Comes from the mountains. It was pushed for thousands of years by a glacier during the Ice Age. Now it rests here after its long journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm like dying. How unfortunate. Death. Death. There, my back will hurt tomorrow. What are you on dope? What is wrong with you? Like what? Pulls the cat on Granny. Now nah, you gonna live or I'm gonna... Wait. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> Wake the fuck up! <laughs> I put it right next to her. That's hilarious. <clears throat> I need wood so bad, holy fucking shite.
<clears throat> yeah, I need wood. Like crazy, holy shite. I got a star! What the fuck? I got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing. Come here, come here, you bastard. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. <clears throat> Holy shit. What the fuck? <clears throat> what the fuck indeed? I would have liked to have been in that, um, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine, I'm not upset. I'm not worried about it. I need to get some wood over here and build a barbecue for those motherfuckers so that they don't starve and are forced to fucking Hannibal Lecter each other. Though that would be pretty entertaining to watch. I shouldn't encourage it. Thanks, keep the change. <laughs> Stop. Please, I'm dead. I'm dead as fuck. I'm dead as fuck, boy. What, Butchie? You want your food, Butchie? It's already down there. This dog, I swear to God himself. This dog be like, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Please make me food. And I'm like, all right, you want the food right now? I'll give it to you. Then I give it to him. He's sleep. <laughs> He's sleepy, he dead asleep. It's like, okay. Then... You're not even going to eat the food, and then it's going to sit there all night. You're not even going to touch it. Then it's going to get nasty. And I'm going to be like, what is that smell? And oh yeah, it's Butchie's food. Because he didn't fucking eat it. And he just left it out the whole night. And then I got to throw the food away. Because he didn't eat it. And he just, are you? I will kill you. Slowly and I will enjoy it. Because he just left the food out. Didn't touch it. It's like, I'm like, do you think this is funny? Am I a joke to you or something? So that they would eat, would, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I didn't know that was the point of the barbecue. I missed that part of the memo. But that that's very clever, actually. That would be great thinking. That would be great thinking. Pew pew, pew pew.
Nice, perfect, bye. Don't bother me. I'm a busy chicken. Or whatever the fuck I am. So I don't know. Actually, am I a chicken? Oh my god, is that a chicken? Did see a chicken leg on the barbecue. No. Guess you know what happens to grandpa. Grandpa. Damn, that got dark quickly. That got dark real quickly. Sheesh. A toll? What the fuck is that? Look at me go. I am just a chicken living. <laughs> I hate that song. I used to listen to so much of Jaden Smith, like when I was in high school. And when I came out of high school, Willow and Jaden are all I would listen to. But that song is so bad. And not even like ironically bad, or just like funny bad, just bad, bad. <laughs> Just real bad. Bad. You want to make a staring contest? You won. Well played. You're a strong opponent. Now I'm going to pour water in my eyes. Me too, stupid game. Oh, the fact that you could be like... <laughs> you could be like, ha loser! Cardiac. <laughs> Cardiac moment. <laughs> Cardiac moment. For sure, dude. For sure. <clears throat> That's funny. This is fun. food literally same dude <laughs> what the fuck dead ass you're not lying we should do it again fuck it do it again This is so low budget, I just love it. It's great, truly. It's an epic, epic moment for us. <gasps> There's a boat over there! Is no one gonna tell me about the boat over there?
Yellow Baron found an old transcript of the pilot's last transmission. Weather condition deteriorated quickly. Must land immediately. Flying over a mountain. Fog everywhere. End of transmission. I concluded that the wreck of the plane must be somewhere in the mountain. Would you like to help me find it? Sure. I need a well-deserved rest. Okay. King. Live your life. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. By tell by but do you want to help me find it? He meant, can you find it for me? Nice. I don't have any. What? What the fuck? <clears throat> Uh, cardiac, I'll ask since you're literally the only person that I could ask. Have you played Choices recently? I hope you say no. Because I, even though <clears throat> I don't really play the games anymore, I'm still in the fandom. I'm in a Discord for Choices and I check the Tumblr tag often. The books that they have ain't diddly squat. Ain't ain't fucking diddly fucking squat so I hope you say no just for your own sake <clears throat> I haven't used my fucking blue stacks emulator in so long and I would never under any circumstance ever pay for that game ever fucking again I'd have to be held at gunpoint and even then <laughs> I'd have to think about it <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck, it's called The best books on there are the older ones Like, the ones you already played, I think <clears throat> Excuse me, Endless Summer It Lives in the Woods Uh <laughs> most wanted which is a book that has been out since the beginning almost and they've never updated it they've always said oh we're gonna do it we're gonna ba -ba -ba -ba. and it's literally just abandoned because they're too busy regurgita regurgitating the same fucking garbage romance novels hero hero is really good too but they canceled- oh my god. It's so depressing just to fucking think about and to talk about. They canceled Hero Book 2, which is so depressing because, like, they've been promising- they- they've been promising that book for years now. For, like, fucking five years or some shit now. They promised Hero Book 2, but they canceled it. Because, of course, they did. Um, after teasing it relentlessly, they canceled it. Um, it's really fucking sad, to be honest. But yeah, Endless Summer is probably the best book. It Lives in the Woods is great. Great horror book. Um... Hero is great. Uh, what else? Veil of Secrets is a good mystery. Okay, I'm, it's not really like 
horror, like, it lives in the woods horror, but it's horror as in your friend has been kidnapped and you are in a small town. <laughs> that kind of horror. Um, but it's a good, it's a one, like, one book. These are all, except for in the summer, they're all, like, one-time books. Because I think It Lives in the Woods is one time, but it has, like, a sequel. It is a sequel, but it's a different cast of characters. So it's, like, It Lives in the Woods, and then I think the sequel is It Lives Below, which isn't as good as It Lives in the Woods, but it's still, I think, decent. Um, what else? That app has so many books, and most of them are, like, pretty mediocre, and it's, like, so sad. It's really sad. Um, Endless Summer is so good though. Like, I know that's a trilogy. That book breaks my heart. Like I've replayed through that so many times and I've installed, <clears throat> you know, back when I used to play it on my phone or I used to, um, when I would emulate it, on blue stacks I would install just to play replay that book I miss that book that book was like that's the type of thing where it's like so good it could have been its own thing like endless summer was so good that if cho if pixelberry made a visual novel out of endless summer I would buy it in a heartbeat, even though I've already played it in its full entirety, and it's literally emotionally manipulated me through th throughout three books. If they made a visual novel of Endless Summer, I would buy it in a heartbeat, because that, like, that story, those characters, that arc, everything about that book was so solid. I mean, it was flaky at times. It was definitely flaky at times. It wasn't perfect. But holy shit, the caliber of Endless Summer and then the rest of the books, it's like they're not even the same fucking thing. Like, it's hard to, it's hard to remember that, <laughs> that they're all part of the same, like, game, so to speak. And Endless Summer is just so, so beyond all of the other books. I had that one started because we were going to go through it together, so it's right there in the queue. Gotcha. Other than that, I do have a list of them to check out, and this list exists somewhere, I think. Wait, so, no, you finished Endless Summer. Are you talking about, like, Veil of Secrets, or, it, uh, no, are you talking about It Loves in the Woods? Is that the one you're talking about? Because I remember you said that you finished Endless Summer, and I was like, so? <laughs> How do you feel? I'm talking about Hero, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, Hero's good. If you want to go through that together, that's fine. I just have to... I just have to download Blue Stocks and then I have to get the APK for choices. The hack version of it, because I am not paying... I will never give them any more of my money ever, ever again. Ever again, honey, I won't do it! I will not. I refuse. And if anybody's wondering why, it's because I have given them an insane amount of money and um, they told me that they couldn't refund or like, I, I can't remember specifically what happened, but I had an account, something happened with my phone and I couldn't like all my diamonds and everything that I paid for was gone and they were like did you back up on Facebook and I was like what they were like we can't help you if you didn't back up on Facebook and I said okay you will never get another dime out of me again period my big mistake with Endless Summer was finishing it on the plane. Had to sit there hiding tears. Oh, yeah, I think you told me that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't imagine finishing that book 
while other people are around and like having to hide my reaction from them, I don't think I would be able to do it. I would not be able to do, I would not have the mental fortitude or strength to, to be able to do that. That's insane. You're built diff. You're literally built diff. Honestly, no, I wouldn't even hold back tears. I would full on just start crying. <laughs> that shit ruined me. I was, like, you don't understand. I had followed Endless Summer since its release. Like, that was something that I, I anticipated. Like, when Pixelberry would tease it before the game was even out. I, like, followed that relentlessly. I followed that entire fucking series every week bro that's why like all of the effort and money i put into that book or to those into those books into that series and the time and the heart i put into that series for me to get treated how i did at the end of book three that's why i will never ever 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 do that shit again where it's like oh yeah you 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 only get a tidbit of of this medium per week and then you have to wait it's like no i have been here i have been here and i have been ruined so i refuse <laughs> i refuse i refuse you just it's not gonna happen i won't do it to myself again i don't deserve it i don't deserve that none of us do so I need wood like desperately. I'm wondering if I should just like buy that market. Holy shit. Okay, wait. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy shit, okay. This music is so nice. And there it goes, the music is gone now. What the fuck have I done? Sheesh. <clears throat> My lord. thinking that the entire mobile market needed to step its game up yeah it's so sad to like i see like i said to see the contrast between endless summer as a book or as a series and then the rest of the books they just fall so flat in comparison it's like the the writers have got to be completely different like i refuse to believe that they're the same people they're just not but yeah, like I was saying, Endless Summer is fucking incredible. And I think it's definitely the best book. It's got like, plus, and it's so funny because it has that like comic book art style to it. So it's super charming on the eyes and they just, ugh, everything about that book. I just love it with every fiber of my being. Most Wanted is good, but they abandoned that. Hero is good, but they abandoned that. Hero also has that, like, comic book style. No, Hero has the comic book style. Endless Summer has, like, this cartoony style to it. But it's still really, really charming. Um, Veil of Secrets is great. It's a one-off, but it's great. Um, 
I can't really remember any of the books right now. It Lives in the Woods is great. And then, um... It Lives... It Lives in the Deep, or It Lives... I think it's It Lives in the Deep. I don't know. One of those bitches. The sequel. But It Lives in the Woods is pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um... I heard people say the Royal Masquerade is good, but I've never actually played that. Um, Royal Romance literally fucking sucks. It's so bad. And it's gender locked. It's gender locked and there's only one female romance. And you guessed it, she doesn't really get like any scenes at all. It's it's oh my god royal romance is like it's pretty mediocre in like every way and like i said it's gender locked and the romances it's like i don't even want to talk about that book it's so basic it's literally like the definition of basic oh yeah perfect match how could I forget about Perfect Match? Perfect Match is so fucking good. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot about that book. Perfect Match is so good. That is so good. That's two books, but that shit is good. That shit is good. Now, see, it's like, it's almost like if Pixelberry just stuck to sci fi. They do sci-fi so well. Endless Summer and P Perfect Match are probably their best books. And they are both sci-fi. Like, just stick to sci-fi. Stop doing this rom fucking romance bullshit. It's because I think they, like, started... They have, like, this huge fandom on Facebook. And they're all, like, middle-aged soccer moms. And they, like, live for shit like royal romance. And it's just like, please, just watch The Notebook. You know what I mean? Like, stop. My video game. My video game. Now. But yeah, you're right. Perfect Match is Chef's Kiss. And that's a great book because you can pick your gender and you can pick... The gender and the appearance of your perfect match. Like, bruh, they was on some other shit with that. I really forgot. I love that book too. That it's so good. It's so good, and it ends up like endless summer and perfect match both end up being. Like, like their stories end up being, like, shit that you never would have expected, which is what, like, contributes to why they're so awesome and why they're so, um, like, unforgettable. Because you wouldn't think that you'd be getting into that based on what the book was about or the book looked like, you know? Those are some dope, dope books. Elementalists is cool, too. I'm not really a... Harry Potter type person, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm not really a Harry Potter type person, but Elementalists is cool. But I feel like, um, I feel like, is this the hand? This has got to be the hand one. The hand island, right? This has got to be where that, this looks like the hand. Yeah. Hit it in the sand in the palm of the hand. Could this be... I think I found the treasure. Yeah, I knew. I came across this and I was like, wow, this island looks like a hand. Um, like before I got the quest. And, and Elementalists has pretty... Like, its romance options are good. But like the romance really falls flat like for the it's just I don't know I really get tired of playing choices books because like 
if you want to romance a girl, you're gonna get one scene per book. Or you're gonna, like, get one scene every, like, four chapters. And I was just like, dude. What the fuck? Why am I romancing someone if I have to? If I can only spend time with them, like, once every three chapters. Like, it's really fucking toxic and annoying. And then you'll have, like... Like I was saying with Royal Romance, right? There's one girl that you can romance in that book. In that series. In that entire series, there's, like, fucking eight books. And you can only romance one girl. Right? And you rarely get any scenes with her. And when they do, they're, like, friend-locked. It's so fucking stupid. It pisses me off. Um, meanwhile, like, if you romance the, like, the king, who's the guy that you're, like, supposed to romance, I guess, it's just heteronormative bullshit, and I'm just so sick of it. You get, like, you get, like, six scenes in a fucking chapter, and I'm like, hello? Like, what the fuck? There's no balance to that. And I hate it. And it's so... It's just bullshit. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's stinky and I hate it. Um. What else? What else am I thinking of? I'd have to look because I can't remember. Oh, the crown and the flame. That's a super old one. That's a super, super old one. That's a series. I think there's three books. Really, really good, though. Really good. Really good. And your choice is in that one. Like, <laughs> I hope you have diamonds. <laughs> because if you don't, people are going to die. <laughs> people are going to die. And you're, the game is going to make you feel bad for it. And it's really shitty. But the story is pretty good it's gender locked but you swap between playing kenna who's a girl and then dominic who's a boy but it's mostly kenna's story but kenna's a girl boss so it's not really an issue that it's gender locked to be honest because she's a girl boss um a Courtesan of Rome is pretty good. I think I I think I was streaming that maybe last year. I started streaming that. But it's a little too spicy. It's a little too spicy to stream, I think. Um, it's gender locked. I play it. I stayed hidden for two days. My friends still haven't found me. Actually, I can't find them either. Well, you found me. Nice. I had so much fun playing hide and seek with you. Awesome. Okay, good night. Enjoy your bed. I mean, your what? <laughs> I can use that for my quest to find the gem of the tower. Perfect. Dope. Um, yeah, quarters in a room is a little spicy. It's gender locked, but you play a courtesan of Rome. And that's about all I'll say. <laughs> There's only one romance, one female romance option again, because Pixelberry hates women. Um, but she's great. I think her name's Sabina. It's been a while since I played that book. Um, that book's interesting because it has like <laughs> Mark Anthony and. Caesar and Cleopatra <laughs> it's fucking weird it's fucking weird dude but yeah even though it's gender locked yeah it sucks that it's gender locked I hate that but it's a pretty good book it's got one of my favorite romances in all of the choices books in it um and some really interesting characters but, um, yeah. Pew pew. Damn, I really, 
I really forgot about Perfect Match. That is fucking insane. I can't believe I forgot about that book. Honestly, though, to be fair, I do try to forget about choices. Because for a huge portion of my life, all I did was play that game and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Um, like, when I was working, when I thought I was just, like... I thought I was going to get a side job helping one of my relatives, and I ended up being suckered into a full-time job that I did not want, was not ready for, um, and I didn't have any time, like, I was just working all the time, and then when I'd get off, I wouldn't have any energy, like, I'd just eat, shower, and then go to sleep, and that'd be it, it was horrible, and so I played, I'm carrying too much, Pog, I played um choices and animal crossing pocket camp i can't believe i used to play that shit it's like so bad <laughs> it's like a fucking it's just your typical mobile game in terms of microtransactions fucking bullshit but it was like fun daily stuff I could do every day that would like get my mind off of how much I hated my life at the time um but it wouldn't be too involved it would be like maybe two hours a day or like three hours a day and that was all the time I had and I didn't want to do anything else so consumed my ooh, life where's she going girl what you doing have you seen my boat? It's a small toy. I lost it. So I kind of destroyed it. What? Sorry, I didn't know it was yours. You destroyed my boat? Don't. I can't talk to you. It was my favorite. Oh my god. Oh my god, I destroyed her boat. Is my boat still destroyed? Bye! <gasps> I'm sorry. I didn't realize. Oh my god. That's so sad. Despacito. Yeah, you missed it. You can go back and watch the VOD if you want. Oh my god. I'm carrying too much Lamel. XD. Can I zoom in on the map? It's like so small. I can barely fucking see anything. Where am I? Why can't I fast travel? This sucks. <laughs> sucks butt cheeks. <clears throat> where am I? Do I see myself on the map? Like, where am I? I'm so stressed out. I'm at the bottom. I'm at the bottom. I'm at one. I want to go to... Two, three. I want to get to seven, eight. I think I want to get to eight. So I gotta go over here, maybe. I think, hopefully. Is 
the wrong one finished? Yes. It's a one-off. Like I said, it's gender locked, but it's got some pretty steamy romance. But the thing is, is I don't know if the, I don't know. Cause like I said, you have to play a girl. There's only one female romance and it's, I don't even, I just hate how Pixelberry treats women, to be honest. Um, I don't even know if the female romance is even worth your time, literally. <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, it is finished. A pool. Oh, that pool looked really cool. Why does the inside of it look like that? It's like a void. And it's drawing me in. What the fuck? Big pool. Holy smokes, boys. There you go, boys. Have a, a swim in the pool right next to the actual beach. No, it has a story, but it's, it's literally called a courtesan of Rome. Like, you are a courtesan. And you have people who are your clients. <laughs> oh, it's not like, it's not like any more horny than the other books, I guess. But like, I'm just saying that I don't know if the female romance is any good. Um, but there's three men in it you could romance. <laughs> mm, so if you like women, go fuck yourself. Basically. Yeah, I, I don't know if the female romance is any good. That's why I said that, because you know, if you're not gay or bi, then you're probably not gonna wanna date the men. So, that's why I said that. <laughs> oh my god, a little cabin, wait. These are so cute, but they look so out of place. But I might just build them anyway, fuck it. I haven't bothered. Oh boy, if you think they're obnoxious, <laughs> wait till you play that game. There's, uh, 
I don't know how to, I mean, I don't want to say anything because it might spoil, but there's, okay, there's a, a really whiny male romance in that, in that book. A really whiny male romance. And then there's a really aggressive <laughs> male romance. And then there's, but not like aggressive and like forceful or anything like that. Just aggressive and the guy is not nice. Um, and then there's a very soft. It's like <laughs> the whole way scale is there. You got the the vicious dude, and then you got the but I just want, um, but it, I just want your love. Um, I'm so sad. Why don't you love me back? <laughs> and then you got, you got the, I would die for you. I would fight for you. I would do <laughs> anything. <laughs> and like I said, the first one, the vicious one, it's like, it's like, No, I'll let that one be a, a, a surprise. <laughs> it's just a very... The, the books, the characters in that book are are interesting. I think the romances are interesting as well, at least for the one, the two that I did. Um, but yeah. It's a... I feel like it's a, it's like a book where like, <sighs> there is a story, right? But I feel like it's a romance book because like, even though it's, it masquerades behind being like, have, being like that plot of that story, at the end of the day, it's kind of just a romance like story you know what i mean like it it's like yes it has a story and plot but like that comes second to you romancing whoever you're interested in does that make sense and if it comes if the story comes second to the romance then i consider it a romance book If they prioritize the romance, then yeah. Whereas, like, Endless Summer is great because it's got that mix where adventure, mystery, survival, <laughs> romance, friendship, and romance. And Perfect Match is great because it's like, oh, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be romance. But then. But then, <laughs> Burby Match is like, honey, you got a big storm coming. You know what I mean? So romance plays like, there's romance in that books, but they aren't the main shebang. Isn't that the right word? But something about him usually rubs me the wrong way at first. It may come around, but by then it's too late to consider. No, a lot of the men are written horribly. Oh, a fair as well. oh my god this is so obnoxious how would you even be able to build this are you fucking kidding me <laughs> all right all right felix or flint or whatever the fuck your name is <clears throat> hmm I can't believe I literally made a big pool for these idiots. I love it. <laughs> mm. 
Wait, what? That's so funny. <clears throat> yeah, they were literally fucking stuck. They were stuck. Oh my god. Go ahead, go into the pool. Live your best life. <clears throat> yeah, romance is a subplot. But I'd rather it be a subplot than the only thing to take away from something, that's for sure. That is a damn sure. Like, royal romance, that is purely romance. And really nothing much else. I mean, there's more- sh there's other shit that happens, but it's literally called royal romance. Like, that is its main takeaway, which is so sad. It's probably why it's such shit. Um, but that's none of my business. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Dude. I think they like their new crib. There's one. Oh, I thought there was another tent left. There isn't. They got a burger stand, an ice cream thing, a fucking bungalow, a pool, fireworks, a swing, a d like bruh. They got everything in this bitch. They better be grateful. They better be fucking grateful. These motherfuckers got everything. Everything. Oh, but they don't have a radio. Let's give them a radio. Whoa. They are decked the fuck out. See, I said that I would deck them out as soon as I got guap. Or as soon as I got enough resources. And I did. I kept my word. Now, I, I don't know if I want to do that for every camp. That seems like a lot of work. You feel me? Seems like a whole lot of work. So the resources do re respawn, that's great. <clears throat> Wait, what am I at? Six. Let's go to 13, I guess. Decent romance one, but I feel like they probably just fall into being a collection of sex scenes. There is one like that already. It's called, um, oh god. I'm embarrassed for even having to say these words in conjunction. It's called... The Nanny's Affair. <coughs> I'm just, I'm dying of the cringe. Yeah, it's called The Daddy's Affair. Um, and it literally just consists of, like, you being a nanny of, like, two kids. You can choose the race. You can choose, so, you can't choose the gender of the character you play, but you can choose the gender of the 
the gender and the appearance of the person that you can romance. And you just play their nanny, and so you like babysit their kids. It's the dumbest shit. <laughs> it's as dumb as it sounds. It's so, it's so bad. It's embarrassing. I don't even, I don't even want to continue. I can't continue. I don't, I can't work up the strength to continue. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's just so bad. It's literally so fucking bad. Oh my god. It's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> Fifi. <clears throat> You gotta call it quits while you, while you ahead. What what did he mean by this? What did he mean by this? Yeehaw! Oh my God, he said yeehaw. I would die for him. I love that it has the little shadows too. All right, we should add some more decoration. Oh shit, I don't know how many fucking what? What the fuck? They should have a pool here. Cause they're not even near a body of water. Well, over there, but that's like, like a kiddie pool. $10 please for the life advice. No, I'm good. I don't need any life advice, but I appreciate the offer. I'll let you know if I come across anybody who could be in need of life advice. <clears throat> Takes ten dollars. Go ahead, give him some life advice. He's in need of life advice. What did, what, what life advice did I get from Rainbow Billy? Um, get the money out front next time? Damn. My life advice would be, it is what it is. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not a fucking useless piece of sack of fucking ass. Actual fucking garbage shite. So I wouldn't say that. Um, but, I will ever say, I will say. What the fuck? There was a quote in Rainbow Billy that was actually pretty nice. I liked it a lot. And it was like, we can't choose who we are, but we can choose who we can be or something like that. I literally summarized that so horribly, but um, that's the best phrase. Yeah, it's the best phrase to say if you're a man dismissing a woman's emotions and feelings and you didn't listen to anything that she said, even after asking her how she felt. It's the perfect phrase for someone like that. But because I actually care about people, um, I'm not going to dismiss their feelings and their emotions and their experiences like that. It'd be like that. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for proving my point. To a T, might I add. <clears throat> pew, pew. <clears throat> Nice, I finally made it back here. <clears throat> I 
My game just fucking shit itself. I just, I knew as soon as it froze, I'm like, oh shit. Oopsie daisy, I don't know how I broke it, but I did. Haven Park. Us talking about choices makes me want to play it again. I think my all-time favorite romance in that game is... It's literally in one of my least favorite books. Which is just like, damn, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> I really gotta suffer through one of the worst books in that entire game. For my favorite romance. That is sad. That is truly sad. That is fucking sad, dude. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I think my favorite romance is, um... Zig from Freshman, but, um, he's, like, he's in the, the Freshman book, like, he's in, he start he comes in at the third book, so the first two books, you gotta suffer through that fucking shite without him, <laughs> um, <clears throat> that book is so bad. That book is so bad. Oh my god. It And it goes on forever. It goes freshman, junior. Or freshman, sophomore. Junior. Fucking senior. And there's like books in between. It's awful. It's a terrible time. It's a terrible time. That book is so bad. Oh my god. It's so bad. Wait, can more than one camper sleep in that? I'm confused. It says one bed for a camper. <clears throat> Obviously that's one, one bed for a camper. Rustic bungalow that can provide one bed for a camper. But then the wooden cabin, I would think would be one bed. But isn't there, uh, didn't another, one just go in there? I'm so confused. I'm lost. Oh my god, the fucking Ferris wheel. What the fuck is this, dude? I'm gonna give them a pool. A big pool with a slide. I'm just gonna give them a reg- Honestly, why does the regular pool look more fun than the big pool? Like, not to like- hate but yeah it literally does look like more fun which is kind of insane i'm gonna put a swing over here i guess and then 
we'll put ice cream because everybody deserves to have ice cream. Um, and then I don't really have, I'm supposed to make another house. I don't have the wood for that. Everything just uses so much wood. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <clears throat> I need wood. What a riot. Pew pew. Yeah, probably never because I'm leaving you broke yet rich with wisdom. Damn. Damn, what the fuck? What is going on in my chat? People being robbed at gunpoint is what it looks like. Pepe hands, dude. <clears throat> I don't really know what's going on, but I'm glad I'm not a part of it. That's all I gotta say, ultimately. That shit, that shit, that shit. Beak go off. <clears throat> Those trees look fucking weird. But like a good weird, not a bad weird. I up and then my heat go. I heard he, wait, is this the, is that the front? Or is this the front? Or I think this is the front. Or do you think I sneak in the back? I think this is the front. Okay. Decoration. Why do I need wood for literally fucking everything? That's kind of annoying. Can we agree? I literally, excuse me, need it for everything. That's so annoying. Put this uh, over the pil the pool. That would be kind of cool if it would let me. It's not gonna let me though. Ah! What the fuck? When I fly back, gotcha. Because you're, like, out and about flying around and shit, right? That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Indeed. Bang. Bang, bang. <clears throat> Perfect, that's done. Never bother me again. Bye-bye. I'm so fucking hungry. What the fuck? I would have been playing it emotionally motivated. Interesting. I don't know if that's something you should tell people in, t in a Twitch chat. But hopefully nobody. Maybe pokers. Pokers might try some. But hopefully nobody else will fuck with you. Yes, 
thank you, Butchie, for that insight. <laughs> Silly doge. <laughs> I think they were being held there. The poor bastards. Granny probably dead already with the time it has taken me to get where I need to go and I haven't even gotten there yet, bro. Poor Granny. Rip Gram Grams. For real. She waiting at the top of the mountain and I am doing fuck all to meet her there. Holy shit. I like completely forgot. It's hilarious though. Wow. Obnoxious is this, I love it. 
See, this is very useful for spamming notifications on my screen. Screen like a nitwit. I love that for me. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. <clears throat> I'm carrying too much. That's funny. Yeah, I would think so. won't. Holy shit. My fucking voice. I am literally dying. Ellie won't tear up this time. I don't think he will. I didn't do any crying in the movie or book. Sorry. Fucking dumb. Yeah, I don't remember doing literally any crying. What the fuck? Okay. Interesting. Maybe I'll just move this. Like, Jesus. A pain in the ass. fucking ass would it be so hard if my shit was clipping like would it literally be the end of the fucking world if my stuff was clipping out of bounds <clears throat> like what's the worst that could happen honestly I want to know that's literally clipping you want me- so it's okay for me to place where they're- okay. You're literally on dope. You're smoking crack. Um. Dope. Beautiful. <clears throat> Whoa! Right, bestie. So true. Thank you. 
That works, I guess. Honestly, I fucking hate that. I literally hate that so much. <laughs> I hate it. It looks like shite. It looks like shite. swing we gonna fix that today there you go <clears throat> there you go beautiful <clears throat> cup I need I'll grab another couple because I'm coming back out I'm hungry. You like pudding? Please speak louder. Can't hear very well. What happened to you? Not at all, but thanks anyway. No, it's tomorrow. Light firecrackers while being locked inside a barrel. Even for 10 coins. Not worth it. And use your imagination. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god he's yelling that's great I love that where am I on the map I don't know dude I'm at fucking 13 or 9 or I hate the map in this game I hate it 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 I hate it.
Oh, I didn't realize the tiki bar gives you money because it doesn't say that it does. out cardiac i'm probably gonna end in a little bit in a few anyway have a good rest of your night it's a rest i'll talk to you later thanks for indulging my choices bullshit you're doing it as fast as possible does an angry goblins appear behind you they're running towards you you throw the shovel away and jump in the hole the hole is just big enough for you to crawl into one goblin grabs your leg you give a few kicks to manage to free yourself you get out of the hole to the other side of the gate. The goblins try to follow you, but they are too big. Then they try to force the gate. Fortunately, it doesn't move. Seeing that they can't reach you, they go back into the darkness. You are shaking. You collect yourself and proceed. You walk through the hallway, careful not to activate another trap. A few moments later, you arrive in front of a door. It's locked. You knock on the door. You hear a very vo deep voice grumbling. Name the code. Blue stone. The floor below you opens. You fall into a pit trapped. You hesitate, then you enter. You are now walking through a dark corridor. But your torch gets dimmer and dimmer. You realize you quickly need a replacement before you get completely swallowed by the darkness. Placement for my torch. Let's explore the surrounding to find something. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> the shrugs. Well, I got you into it. I did that to you. So, you know. <laughs> it's only fair I talk to you about it. After bringing you into the hell myself, you know, so, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> These poor bastards here, Lamal. I think I'm gonna get rid of that blue one and just make a bungalow. 
because I think it would look nicer. The bungalows kind of look a lot nicer. I wish the trees weren't up there. Hello, Noir. How is you? Thanks, I hate it. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. This looks like an Animal Crossing spinoff. It's not. Um, yeah, it's just like you go around, you gather resources, um, and you, there's like little campsites and you just like improve the campsites with the resources you gather. And then that's it. And there's like quests and stuff. But it's not really, I mean, I guess it's like Animal Crossing, but it's super, super light. Um, you know what I mean? There's no, like, grind, I'd say, to it at all. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's super cozy, you know? So, that's good, obviously. Yeah, about those cozy games. Yeah. Yep. Get out of me on fast mode. I mean, good for you. There's nothing wrong with that. sleeping in that. I don't think I can touch it. 
I will build them a pool instead. Enjoy your pool. Get some ice cream as well. There you go. Enjoy it. Um, let's get rid of this. And I'll make a flower pot. Sound like they have one. Um, I'm gonna go for some fireworks. I'm so hungry and I am probably gonna end. Yeah, and just raid Biddle, he's playing Evil Within. I really wanna just continue to watch him play that, to be honest. Tomorrow starts December, which starts 